Now, if you're looking for a freehold 2 beta plus 1 study kind of configuration built by a reputable builder as well as architect, within 1 km to Cedar Primary and Maristella Primary. So join us as Property Lim Brothers brings you to this beautiful project called The Queen. Let's go! The Queen is a freehold development located at the Serangoon Bartley District 19. For those who are unfamiliar where we are, we are just 12 minutes drive away from Orchard Road. This project is in the middle of three MRT stations, which is the Woodleigh and Serangoon MRT station, and also the Bartley MRT station, which is the Circle Line, and we are in the middle of three of them. This project has 139 units and it consists of one bader, one bader plus study, two baders, two baders plus study, three baders and three baders plus study. We are now here at two plus study, which only has 21 units out of the 139 units in this project. Within this enclave, there's a mixture of 99 leasehold projects and also freehold projects. And now let's dive a little bit deeper in the freehold project. There's two categories within the freehold development and majority of the freehold development within this enclave are boutique developments. In other words, they are sitting on a smaller plot of land between about 40 to 60 units and they usually have partial amenities. These people, they value privacy in a low-density project and they are also okay with partial amenities. The other category would be the mid-sized family-oriented developments which usually sits on a larger plot of land with over 100 units and they have more amenities for family needs. Some of the reasons why people enjoy this development is because they enjoy the best of both worlds of having the amenities and not being at a densely packed development. This project TOP in 2016, that makes us one of the newest developments in the enclave. When you're shortlisting a development, especially so for a freehold project, it is important to know who are the architects and the main con builders because that would determine whether the project is well taught, well built and well designed. So for the Queen, Park & Associates is the architect behind them and some of their notable projects include Steam Park Rides in Universal Studio as well as Disney Resort, Marriott Hotel and Ritz Carlton Hotel Overseas, Park Como and 311 in Singapore. And as for the Queen's main contractor, Penta Ocean Construction, some of the notable projects include Art Science Museum, Marina at Keppel Bay, Changi International Airport Reclamation, Ion Orchard and Ion Residences. So having these strong track records for both the architect and the main con builder gives you the assurance of buying into a freehold project that is well built that can last you for the years to come. So this is a 2 beta plus study configuration with a total size of 840 square feet. Now if you have been looking for a 2 beta right here within this enclave, you will notice that some of the developments over here, they have a bay window by the side of the rooms. If you are someone that prefers those kind of uh, layouts, and you can effectively utilize every inch and corner, then I think this is the kind of layout that you will prefer. Now, so if you have noticed some of the two baders right here, they have those kind of open plan as well as the kitchenette kind of concept. So if you're someone that loves those kind of fully enclosed kitchen, then I think this is one of the development or this particular layout will suit you the best because you have this fully functioning kitchen that have the kitchen countertop on both left and right as well as cabinets on the top and bottom. I think this serves as a very good area uh, for you to prep all your meals. Now the top and bottom cabinets with carpentry have already been done and it all comes with uh, soft closure. So I think uh, all these are really moving conditions. Uh, you don't need to do much of it and it comes with gas, cooker system as well as the oven that is already fully installed for you. And all you need is probably just to get a bigger fridge depending on your family size and the good thing is it even comes with sliding door so in the event that you do heavy cooking you can enclose up this sliding door and open up the ventilation window at the end of the kitchen you can get ready to prep your good meal and if you notice right here 840 square feet you have a very spacious layout and I think the developer have already thoughtfully catered one area right here this can either right now be your dining space or you can effectively use this to be your study area or you know another guest room now most of the two bedrooms within this area you will notice that you have quite a narrow width 
in the living room which is maybe around 1 up to 2 meters but over here you have 2.8 meters of a span as well as 3 over meters of a ceiling height so I think the entire living as well as the bedrooms they all give you a very spacious feel and I think right opposite where we are overlooking at they are the Bidadari Estate I'm going to talk a little bit more about the Bidadari Estate later we are separated by the Bartley Road and I think the beauty about this development is that uh, the MCSD actually allows you to install zip track at the balcony area and that also means that you can effectively maximize the living space and uh, once your zip track is drawn down you can also block out a bit of noise now let's check out the balcony I think a good thing about a condo development that is situated within close proximity to the HDB clusters is that in the event that you choose to buy this development and let's say you know a few years down the road your plans change you want to move to another bigger place you might be thinking hey what are going to be my group of buyers that might buy into your property itself especially at the queen here I think one good characteristic of this development is that of course it is of a freehold nature so naturally even if you stay for a longer period when the rest of the 99 years lease starts to wear down you still have the competitive edge over the rest of the 99 years leasehold that are surrounding here and uh, the good thing about having a BTO clusters right here that also means that you have a ready group of buyers uh, that might buy into your development itself because the natural progression of the HDB upgraders is that uh, when they sell their properties using their cash proceeds they might upgrade into a nearby development especially when it's just across the street they want to stay in an area where they are familiar with the entire estate especially when you have kids that are already enrolled into schools uh, that also means that you can have an upgrade in lifestyle without having to go through the hassles of changing schools and you are familiar with the surroundings over here so let's dive a little deeper to take a look at who are your potential uh, buyers in the years to come so for this particular two plus study kind of uh, configuration i think that the potential group of buyers might come from a three room hdb upgraders that are just right opposite and over at bidadari if you have to take a look at the numbers there are a total of 1351 three room units right there and that also means that they will form your ready pool of buyers that might buy into this development itself so let's take a look at some of the options that the potential buyer might have when they are considering the queen. If you take a look at some of the freehold options around here, you have the Masons at an average PSF of $1,500 odd dollars. And uh, over on the other side, you have Kensington where the average PSF is around $1,600. And if you have to take a look at the new project for a freehold, you have the Gazania as well as the Lilium. For a two bedder it starts from around 1,900 plus PSF to around 2,000 plus PSF. I think naturally they will command a higher price because the land price have already increased uh, gradually over the years. And if you have to compare with some of the leasehold uh, projects that are right here, for example some of the newer projects such as Forest Woods, the average PSF is already going at around $1,800 plus. dollars. So I think if you have to look in totality, I think the Queen uh, belongs to this product where you are freehold yet if you want to keep your quantum and your PSF affordable at $1.25 million negotiable I think this is the one for you Alright, so I think we've shared enough let's check out the rest of the bedrooms with us let's go So we have this two bed and two bath configuration so it almost feels like an ensuite kind of uh, layout and uh, right here at the first common bedroom we have a single size as well as a side table uh, this can easily expand up to queen size and you still have ample of space to move around where you have the balcony that is right outside that interconnects with the living room as well as the balcony you have a three panel wardrobes right over here and uh, like we mentioned earlier you have a very high ceiling that stretches all the way uh, from the living room to all the bedrooms so the entire room actually feels very spacious you don't get that kind of very cramped uh, feeling even though this is a two bedder kind of layout and right here at the common bathroom you have a ventilation window that is at the shower area uh, I think having seen a lot of properties we think that this is one of a good plus point because that will effectively clear away all the moistures so you're not going to have those kind of mold that is going to appear right at the ceiling area Alright, so coming into the master bedroom, you have a good size master ensuite. So for some of them that prefers not to have the bathroom that is facing the bed, I think this is the kind of configuration that you would love. So in the master ensuite, you have the granite top as well as a vanity cabinet that has already been provided. And I think this is decent size. A master bedroom size, I think is great. This is currently fitted with a queen size. 
you have four panels of cabinets right here and you still have ample space over at this side as well as the perimeter of the room so i think uh, in terms of the size for a two beta 840 square feet this is definitely good enough you still have the balcony that interlinks with all the bedrooms right outside here some of the amenities offered by this development include swimming pool rooftop jacuzzi clubhouse, barbecue pits, playground for children, gym, sun deck, an open pavilion, as well as a basement car park. So in terms of connectivity, if you drive, you are within easy access to KPE as well as CTE. For public transport, we have the Serangoon MRT station and the Woodleigh MRT station, which is the Northeast line. And we also have the Bartley station on the Circle line. For food options, we have the famous hangout place like Chom Chom Food Centre at Serangoon. So in addition to Maristella as well as Cedar Primary, within 1km we have Yangzhen Primary School. For secondary school, we have St. Gabriel's, Bartley, Cedar Girls, Paya Lebang Methodist Girls School as well as St. Andrew's Secondary School all within close proximity. So what's happening around here is that we have the Bidadari Estate that's going to be developed where you have a shopping mall that's going to be integrated with Woodley MRT Station and around there we have parks as well as lakes and I think those are great activities uh, for your families over the weekends where you can cycle around the lakes and you have multiple food options as well as shopping amenities all within easy access from the Queen. Okay, we've come to the end of our home tour. If you are someone looking for a 2 plus 1 study, free whole project, north-south facing and an efficient layout, then do give us a call. Our numbers are right down below. My name is George Ping. I'm Felicia Lowe. Property, Property Brothers, Brothers, always happy, happy to, to show you the place. place. This project TOP in 2006. Sick thing. Freehold smile. Freehold development. Majority. Majority. I'm too nervous. Plus the Camera plus Melvin, there's like two cameras, you know. Melvin plus camera means two cameras.